Hello everyone, Sigmulator here. Welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. Story time is over. And we now get to move into the Forbidden West proper. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plainsong's doing after the attack. We'll do that in a bit. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. Alright, what's going on? After you, Aloy. Alright. What's that? You've you've got rid of your head your headdress. Ah, well, look at that. I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This it's like training actually i'm gonna go back east to get errand bring him here look allies friends can help we have a place to stay now and like you said gaia can teach us catch us up it'll be okay okay take these then one to wear one for backup while you're at it Stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanoth clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Excellent. Right. right. I'm only at 17, so we're not going to be tackling any of those too long. Uh, too soon. The roots that bind. What's this? Tara village of Espen. Wasn't attacked by Tanakh raiders. Oh yeah, that was one of the uh, side quests I picked up earlier. Cool. Yeah, we can get all that done. Ether, Poseidon, Demeter, Apollo, Artemis. There's some data packs that we got in the last one. Subordinate functions. Uh, Aloy, below you will find a summary of the subordinate functions. I have included a preliminary analysis of how retrieval of Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will allow me to effect modest corrections to the biosphere. I hope you will find it useful. Uh, Alpha Project Leader Anders Larsen. Okay. I think most of this was explained to us anyway. Luther has fulfilled its function by birthing all of the embryos and releasing humans back into the wild, albeit prematurely. Okay. Hades permanently destroyed. Good. Merged with Gaia. 
Achieving the Poseidon should result in improved watershed conditions in the region. Yeah, we've most of that was explained to us verbally, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Ooh, more skill points. Fire high arcing arrow, volley of arrows. All right, cool. Bolt blaster. Ooh, fire eight bolts that you currently select to type in a wide range shot. I think we'll go for that one. More weapon types will be useful. One skill point left. I'm not sure I can do. Well, maybe I can. Quiet spear. Many attacks are quieter, reducing the chance of. Yes, alright. We'll have that. Oh, how cool would that be to have in real life? I still have my mount, that's good. I have to start. If I want to upgrade my pouches or whatnot, I'm going to have to kill animals, I'm sorry. That is the way of things. Cool. Hey, boy. Fire bristle back. That's fine. I need to. Make sure I get a good scan of all the machines. You saw nothing. The land out here is sick with light too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Shrug off acid. No good. Long legs, yeah, we know about those. A Tanakh settlement. Gonna have to watch my step. Campfire discovered. Excellent. I make travelling a bit easier. Apex fire bristle back. The fuck does that mean? A hunter killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It's been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. All right, well, we'll, we're, we'll uh, we won't have anything to do with that for now. Looks like a spear stuck in the sand. Uh, well, we're not going to mess around with that. Not yet, at least. Ooh. Sounds like there are people in trouble. Hey, over here! You, Nora! Did you 
There we go. That's the last of the chargers. There we go. Let's find out what those Tanakhs are doing here. Hatakto, over here. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Next time, Hatakto, you follow orders. Head round to the rocks, draw them away. Look, this tastes as good as it looks. Only they didn't mention the other machine. Uh, oh, yeah. Guessing you're a Tanakh patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Hatakto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert Tanakh. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty and let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the Grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. All right, well, thank you. Okay. Oh, my, my mount got damaged. Um, All fixed now. Don't think there's a way to climb this tall neck. Torn it? Ah! A tall neck! Maybe I have to glide from somewhere. Oh, I can't see a way to climb this tall neck. I wish there was a way to climb this tall neck, but I don't see one. Alright, I'm guessing we'll have to deal with that later. Well, at least we found another tall neck, that would be good. Two thunder jaws. I am out of here. <laughs> Fuck that noise. A campfire. Hmm. Doesn't make a good die. Getting 
getting close to Ether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. An ancient ruin. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Ether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Hello, welcome to the hollow tour of the Majorif Battle Memorial Museum. This tour will guide you through all of the museum's exhibitions, giving you broad insight into the hot zone crisis and the tragic battle that took place on these very grounds. If you wish to start indoors, press 1. If you wish to proceed directly to the crater exhibit, press 2. But before stepping outside, make sure you are properly protected from the dust and heat Excuse me, and help any children in your party data corrupted. Alright, we're gonna have to talk to these Tanakhs. Many more soldiers killed since. And Regala's army only Regala's forces may seem strong now, but her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. Neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Lai. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Deco, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These... Visions. You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones. Who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound, but over the years, they've fallen into darkness, one by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark. The chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the Chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room. At the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the Ten. Alright, let's, let's have a look at these visions. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Force Ten active. 
said. The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. There's one. Uh, was the origin of ex Executive Order 236? Yeah, that. Which used congressionally granted emergency powers to mandate the evacuations of most countries, or most counties in the region outside of Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Phoenix. Displaced families and individuals would be moved to temporary camps before places could be found for them. In habitable, area, in habitable areas, to enforce the order, the government threatened to nullify existing water agreements between the northwest and southwest, essentially turning off the taps for the so-called tri-state hot zone. To its supporters, 73H was a humanitarian effort designed to preserve resources and help climate-stricken southern western families start new lives. For its opponents, the order was a clear bait and switch. The federal government had broken its deal with Medina in a greedy land grab that employed eminent domain to seize mining claims at the same time it would place southern western refugees in fenced in camps which were quickly disparaged as 73 hell. A provision that incited immediate yep Oh, there's another vision over here. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. See. From Decker the wise and patient chaplain of the Lowland clan, I finally learned the answer to a question that had long vexed me. Before my capture, the only Tanakh I ever had a conversation with, if one could call it that, was a prisoner at uh, Sunstone Rock, who spoke of taking the blood and children of her enemies as her own. A rant seemed to confirm the lurid stories about the Tanakh I had read in my youth, yet in all my time, in the Forbidden West, I have never seen such barbaric practices. I wanted to know if there was a truth to the prisoner's words. There was. Those were the old ways, Decker clarified, dating from the constant warfare between clans of years past. Since the ascension of Chief Hakaru, such practices have been outlawed, though not completely abolished. A few stray... Uh, yeah. An exile still cling to them. Intriguingly, the acts themselves were never as malicious as the Kaja portrayed them to be. Tasting the blood of a fallen foe was meant to honour their marital deeds, and orphan children were taken from conquered settlements to be raised as equal members of their new clan, which was considered to be a merciful outcome. I can't help but see myself in this context, an orphan of sorts, taken in by a new tribe. It hasn't been easy and there are still those in the clan lands who would reject me. 
Still, the more I learn about my new people, the more I see an ability that the Kaja have omitted from their records. Is this true? You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones, but now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Hey. Do you get many Osirum Delvers in Tanakh territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who'll risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Lovely. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. Exhibit allows us to hear the final moments using an interface donated by Sterling Malkeet. We can listen to any flight recorder that employs the industry standard Air FR, encryption protocol version 335 or later. Simply place a black box in the interface to listen to its contents. Please maintain a respectful silence as you hear the voices of the fallen. Fair enough. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. Cool. I'll jump over that because that looks painful. This. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. This room is dedicated to the memories of Roberto Medina, who financed and led the campaign against the federal government and its fleet of uh, General Synthetics battle drones. Colonel Edward de la Hoya, commander of J JTF 10, the brilliant strategist and veteran soldier who held off numerically superior federal forces. Colonel Anne Faraday, the legendary orator. Orator who oversaw early reconciliation efforts and all those who lost their lives during the campaign at the Battle of the Mojave. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I want to look around more first. As you will. Okay. Am I missing some... Missing some more visions? Ah, yes. Last. Any call. Step 
Alright, maybe I can fix these or something. Uh, exhibit shows holographic representations of all seven GSIN battle drone models deployed during the conflict. Rapidly made a mockery of GSIN's non lethal approach in engagement after engagement. Whether it was a surprise artillery barrage from the frigid slopes of Gold Mountain, north of Big Bear Lake, or a desert ambush near the solar plants at, in the Nevada desert, or a wingsuit jump into the jungles of Colombia to stop an attack on a rare Earth convoy, JTF-10 soldiers repeatedly proved that state-of-the-art AI and newfangled weapons were no match for human cunning and data corrupted. I see. All right. There we go. That's all the visions. Now let's go see this chief. The chief waits beyond. Ready? I'm ready. Good. Come. Oh, it's him. Soon, Outlander. Oh, he's not the chief. The savior of Meridian. Hello. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. A man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Kurut. I've sent out a call for the competition. 
that since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the cool route. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathalo will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. All right. Vashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. What did you do when Regala challenged you? If you were to knock, you would know that such a challenge cannot be refused. It was not easy to subdue her. I bear seven scars from that fight. The other marshals wanted me to execute her on the spot, but I found I could not sever the bond between us. Her loyalty had been as boundless as her rage, so I spared her. Rather than mercy, she took it as a humiliation. One she will never be free from. So Regala wants you dead. She does. But that will not be enough. She won't rest until all three clans fall in behind her as she marches on Meridian. Who knows? With machines under her control, perhaps she can raise it to the ground. It's been tried before. So I hear. What exactly is the cool route? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the cool route. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounce the clan that birthed them and pledge themselves to order and peace. They enforce my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. Which is why you must ensure the next cool route takes place. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashal. He will be missed. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Route? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. 
Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong, while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. Why send me to deal with the Sky Clan? All to not respect strength, and you drove Regala back at Baron Light. That and most of your marshals are dead? Correct. What about Catalo? Can't he do it by himself? He is main. They will no longer respect him. That hardly seems fair. What is fair about losing an arm? Whether they respect him or not, Catalo still has worth. He knows the Sky Clan. He was raised in their base. He will guide you well. All right, sounds good. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did, on the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. When I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor. Or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Kaya dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. What did the Old Ones say to you in this new vision? The one called Faraday foretold the growing danger of the machines and said we must unify to stop them. She called for marshals to enforce the peace. Then the vision faded, never to be seen again. I marked the spot where it shone with my spear and I took Faraday's words to heart. Renounced war between the clans trained warriors to fight machines, ordained marshals through the cool route. Since then, the tribe has been at peace, until Regala attacked at Baron Light. And the chamber beneath the throne. You went in after the vision? I did. Inside is an ancient device. It hums with power. You will see it for yourself after the cool route. This I swear. All right, sounds good. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Deco on your way out. She will arm her for the road ahead. Excellent! And on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick later. This has been Horizon Forbidden West, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.